meant to be comfortable. Right. <laughs> they they look nice, you know. I always tell my patients, I think the foot doctors invented those, <laughs> so it's uncomfortable shoes, so we have more business. You see? Right. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Okay. Hey, Jonathan. Hi. How are you doing? Doing so good. Yeah, I haven't seen Jonathan what like five months now. Yeah. No, he was just telling me all of his traveling and all this and kind of been neglecting. I'm concerned about this one, a possibly open ulcer underneath it. Yeah, it's definitely. Definitely, you feel it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got him all good. The last time I saw it was all healed, but now I'm going to clean up these calluses right now. Sure. Okay, and then let's take a look at that one a little bit later on. Okay. So tell me what all the places you've been traveling. Uh, for most part, I've been in Hawaii a few times. Oh, really? Yeah, and um, I've been going to Dallas a lot to visit like family and different like family events. That's right, yeah, Dallas, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad had like a surgery. My stepdad oh, really? has another. He has a surgery coming up next week. So. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. wow. So it's just well, we're all getting older, you see. Yeah. 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 The last few years, just so many of my, you know. Like people that I know, older people passed. And yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people getting sick and. Yeah, my um, my primary, uh, he retired, but uh, I'm first one on Facebook. He had uh, he has brain cancer. So. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah. wow, I'm so sorry. I forgot what it's called, geoblastoma or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, like yeah. A spider web to cancer. Really? Wow, that's terrible. Yeah. So he stopped practicing. Yeah, but he had done it. He had probably retired maybe a couple of years ago. Uh -huh. um, actually, right before COVID, he retired. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, but he found out after? Well, he just found out maybe like a couple of months ago. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So, he's, you know, he's been chronicling like everything that he's going through and uh, oh. like, you know, the treatments and all That's that. terrible. Brain cancer is terrible. And yeah. Hopefully, he's hoping that he can survive past like two to three years. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Is he older? He's 60-something, like 64, 64. Oh, that's young. Yeah, he's not old. So. Oh, wow. So this one's not open, thank God. It's pretty deep, though. This, this one? one yeah, this one. Because the, there was, like, the fluid. I was like, oh, the, oh, the pus coming out? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I oh. had no idea, but I, I looked at it. I was like, it made sense because it's raised, like, pretty. Yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. You know. Almost looked like when I first saw you. Yeah. You know? It might be worse. <laughs> yeah, it's hiding. Yeah. Your ulcer's hiding behind it, so it's yeah, hard it's to tell. Hard to tell, you know? It's definitely, like, um... How do you feel, though? Your sugar okay? Yeah, like my your... sugar's been fine. Um, yeah. It yeah. hasn't spiked up, or you don't have fever, or chills, oh, or anything oh, like no, that? Oh, no, no, none of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but you feel okay, though? Yeah, I, I do. Uh-huh. I, I do have a couple of questions, like, mm. in regards to, like, me working or whatnot. Uh -huh. um, I normally wear compression socks. So I don't know if that's okay. Yeah, compression socks are okay as okay. long as you're not numb. You know, if it's yeah. too tight, you may get numb. And because of your neuropathy, you may not feel as much right, pain. Right, yeah. So you, you don't want to strangle your feet, you know, too much. And, um, like, uh, for moisturizer, I know I'm not supposed to put moisturizer between my... Toes, between your toes, huh? But I'm not supposed to keep my feet moisturized, and they, you know, in the air they end up drying out. Mm -hmm. Um, is there any particular type of like foot cream or anything that I could use, or maybe just like a diabetic lotion? Uh, moisturizer, yeah, yeah, there are a lot. There's the prescription strength ones, mm -hmm. uh, I can give you some if you want to try that, okay. And then, uh, obviously, you know, you know, me, I'm, 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 I'm all about the uh, hydration, you know, right. Yeah, I drink a lot of water, um, and yeah, I've, I've, I've just been struggling trying to find like a good moisturizer. Yeah, yeah, I'll recommend, there's a prescription one called uh, Lycaidrin, mm -hmm. pretty strong stuff. Okay. It just, consistency is the most important, right, because you right. have to, I usually recommend people putting some kind of lubricant uh, right after shower. Right. Because that's when all the pores open up, yeah, and then when you put apply. it, yeah, apply, <laughs> and then put a little sock over it, you know, mm -hmm. to go yeah. to sleep. That seemed to really help as well. So that's what I recommend. I'll, I'll give you a prescription for those and see if that one, that would work fine, you know? Okay. Okay, now, here we go. That's the bad one. That's the bad one, huh? Yeah. It's a little heart-shaped, as you can see. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's hard shape, uh, Jonathan. <laughs> you're, you're expressing love with yeah, the yeah, bottom yeah. of your feet. Right. But now I have a feeling you got something hiding here. Yes, yeah, there's definitely something going on. Yeah. When did you start feeling this? Um, Probably a week or two ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, you know, of course, you know, it's, you know, been raised or whatnot, um, but not like that. Um, but you know how the bad habit of doing is picking. <laughs> oh, you're picking at it? Yes. What and, comes out of that, though? Um, like a... Nothing until today. And I wasn't picking at it today. I just noticed that there was fluid. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like... You um, see... You see a little bubbling going on here? You yeah. see a little... You see a little bubbling going on here. And that was kind of like when I first came in, it was uh, kind of fur further up, but you know, it was kind of like that. No. But you don't feel sick though, right? Oh no. Yeah, because you got a little pus coming out and concern about infection, but... And like in, in regards to the foot itself, um, it's just like the normal like neuropathy stuff, you know, with the circulation. Yeah. Um, or whatnot. Like my heel was a little uh, tender. I don't know if I stepped wrong or what. Oh really? Yeah, but it's not anymore. Mm hmm. It lasts for like a day. You've just been traveling so much. Yeah. Right. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, what what do you wear when you go on your vacation? Um, I normally wear like stuff like this, and I normally mm -hmm. wear honestly these shoes are the most comfortable. Mm -hmm. Uh, with my orthotics uh, inserts, and so I normally wear those. Mm -hmm. I'll get you a softer orthotics, a little bit more cushion, yeah. more padding, and then we'll take the pressure off this area, like we did before. But I yeah. think uh, we got it. But it's gonna be a little bit more bulky. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure. I'll just get uh, like shoes, maybe in a wide or uh, like Even. a half size bigger. Yeah. If I need to. Yeah, you should go shopping with the with the orthotics one, mm -hmm. and then find something comfortable. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's my um, thing. I, if, if especially if I switch airlines, I have to make sure I get something super comfortable because yeah. we have to wear dress shoes. Like oh, I have to wear dress shoes. Works. Well, right now, I normally wear these. Uh -huh. um, you have to wear dress shoes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're dress shoes that are softer, softer leather, mm -hmm. roomier ones, not not the the pointy pointy ones that. Yeah, I hate those. You know, those fashionable ones, huh? I used to wear like Aldo shoes. Those things used to tear my feet up. It used to be so painful. Mm -hmm. um, you'd be limping, like, and I thought it was just me because of you know my foot, but it was like everybody had the same issue with them. Yeah. Some shoes are just not meant to be comfortable. Right. <laughs> they they look nice, you know. I always tell my patients, I think the foot doctors invented those, <laughs> so it's uncomfortable shoes. So we have more business. You right. See? <laughs> yeah, they're nice, but they are not worth it to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, but when we're young and you know, you know what, we 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 like, we like looking cool. You know. Yeah. We don't we don't think about the consequences. Right. You know? So that's when. See that this is open here. My eyes. It's pretty open, Jonathan. Yeah, I figure so. Yeah. So it's it's probably pretty deep. Yeah. Actually so far not that deep, just okay. surface, yeah, thank God. We don't want any deeper than this one because that can cause infection. Infection. You know? Yeah. But it's just on the surface, and so we'll keep, we have to keep it there. We don't want it to go any deeper. So, as you can see, I'm just gonna get all the edges off, and then I'm gonna. You're gonna have to start doing the dressing changes and absence of absence of yeah, soaking yeah, and yeah, that makes a lot all of the. Sense. All the I still have some. You still have some, right? Yeah. yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, you you heal very quickly. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's my concern. Though. I need to make sure I stay on it and like continue my visits more frequently, because you know the older I, I get, the um, 
slower I could be to heal. Yeah. Also, you, you did the oxygen tank, right, before? Yeah. Yeah, you should do that right away yeah, to get this yeah. closed up in case you move to a new new company, right? Yeah. You, you don't want to be limping around. Oh, no, you know, that's the thing. I, either I'm going to, I, I don't know when my, what, the, what laps there will be, but I'll probably pay for Cobra. Oh, I see. As expensive as it may be. <laughs> yeah, 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 I see. <laughs> but still, you need to get better up quickly oh yeah definitely we so. need to close this up right away and yeah. the oxygen tank works yeah really well we also have iv treatments upstairs mm -hmm. iv nutrition mm -hmm. you should do some um, really good antioxidants and yeah i've heard about vitamins it. And, oh yeah we do all the drips now so yeah. i think you should do some of those like once a week when you're here yeah i think that'll really help a lot to uh, nourish this area to heal as quickly as possible right so yeah there was a little pus there but it looks overall pretty good okay Okay, let me get more rest of the cows here, and then I'll get you. I'll get you signed up with some oxygen treatments. Okay, okay. It's, it's good. and some IV treatments and whatnot. You gotta keep an eye on this little toes too. Yeah, especially that one right there. The yeah. second one. Yeah, this can go up and cause um, also here easily. Yeah, because um, I don't know if you remember, but when I. First, you know, I really didn't honestly have foot issues until COVID mm -hmm. when I was like walking nine miles a day and I wasn't wearing the right shoes. And that's kind of where it went downhill for that particular foot mm -hmm. from from that point. Like I always had, you know, uh, callus, but I never really had issues with ulcers. And yeah. I jacked my foot up pretty badly. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely we, we should do all those to close this as quickly as possible. I yeah. think hopefully in a, in a few weeks it should be closed. So, thank you, Jonathan, for allowing us to film you today. No problem. Thank you.